Peace, you know, Mr. Big Shot, that's what we like to call him. He, he worked very hard at what he do, a very tough kid. Just seeing him um, grow from when he first got here, being a little loosey-goosey in terms of off the court stuff, but now being more focused and knowing what he has to do to help us win. Big Shot Jones, uh, kind of like Chauncey Billups, his favorite player in the NBA. Uh, but off the court, you know, he's, uh, you know he's, he's, he's one of my best friends. You know, he's a great guy. He's like a brother, like he's like a, He's like a big brother. He's a little big brother, kind of, you know? Um, because he, he, he's like honest, tells you how it is all the time. Um, but I love it for I love him for it because we always have that, like Keith and I have always had a relationship where we can like be honest with each other, tell exactly what's going on. And Ben, being a transfer from UConn, everybody sees the potential and stuff he could do, being able to rebound, shoot the ball on the floor. Every time he gets his opportunity, he helps us. Uh, very interesting character, creative, uh, intensely individual. Those are two of the words I use to describe him, individual and creative. Um, this is, he's a character, you know, um, never really in a bad mood, you know, always kind of, you know, always smiling, you know. Um, one of, probably one of my best friends on the team, you know, kind of, at times kind of odd and kind of strange, you know, but that, 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 that's what makes Ben Eves, Ben Eves. Um, Delroy is like the kind of uh, the animated one, you know? You always know where he is. Um, he's, uh, yeah, he's been like, obviously like on the court, been the driving force this year. Del's Del like a, a older, older silly brother, you know, um, you know, everybody know how, how emotional he is on the court. You know, uh, how, how tenacious he plays, you know, off the court, he's, he's, he's a little bit of a softy. You know, I, I, also one of my best friends, um, you know, one of the funniest guys I've ever met, uh, one of the most loyal friends you'll ever have, um, you know, first class individual. Martel, he might be the smartest dumb guy in the world. Martel, <laughs> I think Martel's probably the, the biggest drastic change since I got here from everybody looking at the first thing as just someone to um, fill a scholarship for him work and working and becoming a, a three-year starter. That's unexpected from a lot of people. Will's one of those guys that like, he's not afraid to be like who he is, like he's goofy, you know? Um, and he's like self-admittedly like, he's goofy, he's, you know, he's the, the slow and athletic guy. Um, but I think, you know, he's he's one of the guys as well who's, you know, always, always good for a laugh, like always good for having a good time. The roommate since freshman year, uh, Never really liked him freshman year, but as we got older, you know, we we, we grown together, you know, and um, more or less I'm happy that he's here, you know. Um, big seven footer, you know, I love every minute that I, you know, I have with him, you know, on the court, off the court, you know, um, been together since I got here, you know, and, uh, you know, fortunate we're gonna live together. I plan on visiting these guys too. I'm probably gonna be the uh, reunion organizer out of all of us.